Dear students, in this video lecture, I am explaining about the working principle of a solar cell. What are the advantages and disadvantages? My plan of the talk involves what do you mean by solar cell? What is the principle? How it works? What is the type of solar cells? What is the criteria for the solar cell? What are the advantages and disadvantages of a solar cell? So, VA characteristics of a solar cell. And what is the fundamental difference between the solar cell and photodiode we are discussing in this particular video lecture. So first one is what do you mean by solar cell? A solar cell is also called as a photogalvanic cell means which converts the solar energy which is received from the sun directly converted into the electrical energy. The conversion of light energy to the electrical energy is called photogalvanic cell. The working principle here it is photovoltaic effect. In this photovoltaic effect, the generation of voltage across the p-n junction diode by absorbing the light intensity is called photovoltaic effect. So such type of devices are called as a photovoltaic devices. So in the photovoltaic effect, we are taking the, we are taking N type layer and P type layer with sandwiching together which forms a PN junction. Once the light energy falls onto the system, it creates the electron hole pairs. So these electrons are moving towards the respective electrode which creates the current. That means it's converting into the electric energy. The, the working principle here it's explained the sunlight falls onto this. There is a breakage of covalent bonds electron hole pairs are created that forms the they are moving to the respective opposite electrode metal contact which creates the current the construction involves a n type semiconductor layer and p type semiconductor layer sandwiching together which creates the pn junction diode we call a depletion region this surface is completely coated with the anti reflecting coating because I want to avoid the loss of incoming light energy so due to the reflection that is the reason I am coating the anti-reflection coating so this is the n-type layer this is the p-type layer there is a junction is formed the symbol for the photovoltaic cell represented like this which converts the light energy to the electric energy which is operated in the forward bias mode so here now the, the light energy consists of uh, ultraviolet rays, visible region and infrared region. Here the visible light is completely converted into the light. Why? Because this ultraviolet rays cannot penetrate it through the material it reflects only from the top layer. If you consider infrared light because of the longer in wavelength, so it directly passes through the material, so no use at all. So only the visible region the wavelength correspond to the visible region which converts the light which converts the, that light energy to the electric energy so we cannot pass ultraviolet rays as well as the infrared lights only the visible region so here the sunlight a photons which having the larger energy that energy goes down to the p type material give that energy to the electron this electron is coming out from from this it is penetrating the n type material and which is passing to the uh, respective electrode which creates the light so like this the electrons are moving in a circuit which generates the light so in this particular video here i'm explaining about the generation of charge carriers through an animation so this is the n type layer this is the p type layer So this is the light energy, different uh, wavelength, wavelength from 350 nanometers to the 1140 nanometers, which involves infrared, visible and ultraviolet. So this is the visible spectrum, which can move this here up to this, whereas in that ultraviolet rays moves only up to this. So this is the infrared light, which moves throughout the length, so which is not useful only we require visible spectrum so that energy taking breakage of bonds 
so this electron glazed electron the release electron moves through the n type region and there is electrical contact that this electron moves to the electrical contact this released hole moving to the opposite electrode so in this the light energy falls onto this it create maximum number of electrons and the holes so that electrons moving to the metal electrodes which is connected here which generates the light energy which generates the electrical energy so here also one second i'm showing this is n type layer p type layer this is the respective electrodes metal contact electrodes the electron holes are created so these electrons are moving to the this particular electrode which generates the current so the types of solar cells so here there are three types of solar cell available one is monocrystalline silicon cells the second one is polycrystalline silicon cells the third one is amorphous silicon cells the monocrystalline silicon cell which is a pure silicon crystal single crystal which is a defect free the efficiency will be greater whereas in the case of polycrystalline solar cell it is a liquid silicon is used as a raw material and polycrystalline silicon was obtained followed by the solid solidification process this material contains a various crystalline sizes so due to this the efficiency of this particular polycrystalline cell is less compared to the monocrystalline cell the second one is amorphous silicon so here we are depositing a silicon film on the glassy substrate of thickness very less in terms of 1 micron so the efficiency is further less compared to the polycrystalline if you compare the efficiency of three silicon materials the monocrystalline silicon have the higher efficiency than polycrystalline silicon and amorphous silicon so what are the criteria to be used in the solar cell so it should have the band gap energy around one electron volt to the one pound electron volts and is having the high rate of optical absorption that means the maximum amount of the light falls onto the solar cell should be absorbed that should be converted into the electrical energy and it should have higher electrical conductivity and this material should be available abundance and cost of the material should be very less what is the advantages of a solar cell in this we require in the advantages is no pollution and it lasts for longer time there is no maintenance cost the disadvantages of this particular cell is the insulation cost is higher and lower efficiency then that means all the light energy which is not converted into the electric energy so especially in the cloudy days we cannot get that much amount of the light so at the time uh, the energy obtained is very less this solar system generated energy can be used in number of ways like a batteries we can use and we can use like a light meters and power calculators and wrist watches especially in the satellites we are using the solar panels for the electrical energy purpose so if you do the process of va characteristic of a solar cell the solar cell is operated in the forward bias mode so in the solar cell experiment we have the solar cell and which is connected to the voltmeter and the ammeter the distance between the light energy the source of light and the solar panel is fixed here the three parameters we have to define one is short circuit current and open circuit voltage what is the maximum power we are gaining from the solar cell then what is the efficiency the first parameter is the open circuit voltage without connecting any load to the solar cell what is the maximum voltage available across the solar cell when the shine the light that is set to be the open circuit voltage next one is connect this solar panel to the load generates make the voltage zero 
when the open circuit voltage is zero what is the maximum current is available across the solar panel that is set to be the short circuit current so plot the graph between the voltage and the current you obtain the curve like this this is the iv curve so under the iv curve select what is the maximum area of the rectangle cover that will give the maximum power output the maximum curve under this particular area that will give the uh, vm and im that is the maximum power output the in this one under this curve we have to draw a maximum area covered by the rectangle so this line shows the maximum area so at that point i have to calculate what is the voltage available what is the current is available so that is set with the maximum power so i define one second open circuit voltage what is the voltage available across the solar panel without current next short circuit current when the current is zero what is the current is what is the when the voltage is zero what is the current is available that is the short circuit current the maximum power point is the point at which it generates the maximum electrical power vm into im the fill factor the fill factor will give the ratio of the maximum power available here to the product of short circuit voltage open circuit voltage and short circuit current i define fill factor is equal to the ratio of power at this point to the product of open circuit voltage and short circuit current the next one is efficiency the efficiency is nothing but how much amount of light energy is converted into the power that given by maximum output power by input power here in this formula so the radiation received on the earth as a 1000 watt per square meter so if the expose the solar panel surface let's say that area is a then the total radiation power on the cell will be 1000 into area into watts so this is the formula for efficiency the next important point in the uh, topic is what is the difference between the solar cell and photodiode a pn junction photodiode can be operated under photovoltaic condition similar to the solar cell in the photodiode the process is the same the major differences are in the photodiode is designed only for reverse bias whereas the solar cell design in the forward bias in the photodiode it operates in the reverse bias the generation of electron hole pair creates a current here the solar cell designed in the forward bias and also the the pv curve it is a the photovoltaic cell in the larger in area which covers the maximum amount of the light whereas the photodiode is only the specific and the power handling capacity of the photovoltaic cell is greater compared to the photodiode and in the case of photodiode the va curve so we are getting the first second third quadrant region whereas in the case of in whereas in the case of a solar cell whereas in the case of a solar cell we are getting the curve in the fourth quadrant region in the case of photodiode in the third region whereas in the case of a uh, solar cell we are getting the fourth quadrant region the next one is this photodiode are used like a sensor which converts light energy to the electrical energy whereas the this photovoltaic cell used with a transducers which converts the light to the electricity and also in the photodiode we are talking about the quantum efficiency means how many number of electron hole pairs are created by the instant photon whereas in the case of solar cell we are talking about power conversion efficiency how much amount of the light energy is converted into the electric energy this is the difference between the solar cell and photodiode the reference which i collected using this particular video these are the references and thank you